Okay, so it's that time of year again. Well, you know, it's Halloween. I'm gonna do our little Halloween video, our little Halloween special. Now this year we're only doing one video. So hopefully that's good enough. I know I think it will be because this year we've got some, some props. Well, I say props, I mean like special effects, that kind of stuff. So we've got some, some, some vampire blood. I don't know if we'll use that one. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. That one's just, it's in the back pocket, so keep it, keep it there. That one we might use, we might not, we'll see. We've got some witch's makeup. Again, don't fool this one. It's a bit dark, the color palette, as you can see. That one's a maybe, that one again, back pocket, but it doesn't fit, so we'll hold it. The one we're probably gonna use today, mainly, is this everyday face paint one. Look at that, we've got some nice light colors. The, the one I'm thinking we're mainly gonna use, the black and the white, maybe a bit of red, we'll see. From B, Heart Me, it's all right. And I mean, look at that, look at the price on that. Well, what a bargain, you know what I mean? Which can do a bit of a Halloween makeup kind of thing going on for three quid. It's all right. But anyway, there are some things that are kind of essential for today's video, one of them being a tripod. But I'll get into that after the intro. Let's go. All right, so I would say I'm a pretty modern guy, I like to say that. So I'm thinking let's modernize this Halloween video. And I was thinking to do that, let's do something that's, you know, it's been seen in TV recently or say movies. And it's the idea of the whole disappearing thing, as you may have seen from the film, such as Avengers, you know, um, in Infinity War, where like the, the whole thing where like the sin went into the air. I was thinking let's do that, just make it a little bit spooky if we can. And I was thinking the first actual shot I'm gonna do is I'm be jumping off of this into the air and as I'm doing that I'm obviously disintegrating into the air and I'm dispersing into the atmosphere and all kind of stuff so I was thinking the main thing I've got to do is I've got to get up high quite high just to get a really cool effect so I was thinking I'm gonna get onto this jump high up into the air then land there I mean it's already quite a big drop but I'll get it done I'm doing it I'm doing it for the video so it should be good enough so I'm gonna do that and also like I said earlier before the, the in the intro that you know we need something pretty crucial and that is the tripod so the idea is this if I put that there so to make this idea actually effective I need the camera to be super still for about two possibly three shots and this is why so basically if you see up there I need everything to be as still as possible in both shots because I'm gonna be merging the two together I'll show you exactly the editing process probably most likely in a later video maybe next week maybe the week after i'll see you know this is a halloween video i want to show you the scary stuff not the boring stuff i say boring everything's pretty fun but anyway i'll show you what i'm talking about All right, now is the first shot done. I know it went all right. I mean, the original plan did change because that was way too high. And I mean, as much as I want to get some cool pictures, I still want to live, you know, to make the edit. So we ain't doing that. So, you know, that's good enough. As long as we, you know, kept low, we showed that there was some height from you know, me to the ground. That's a decent height. I mean, look at it. It's literally a bench. So just think about it. If you're a bit creative, with your shots, you can do something similar. So we're going on to our next shot now. And you know what? All we need is a, just a darker area, really, because I want a bit of shadowing and all that kind of stuff. And I want to look like, kind of across the face if I can. If not, it's all right. We've got, you know, got Photoshop, we can solve our problem. So I was just thinking maybe just this area here, because you know, there's a decent amount of shadow, a decent amount of light coming from this one area. So it might act, hopefully, like a spotlight if we get the right area the right, right direction of the camera. So I'm thinking maybe, probably facing this way, because obviously if face this way, there's too much shadow coming this way, you know what I mean? But this way, sun, well, I say sun, the light is coming down this way, hopefully hitting me in some good directions. First, we've got to do the preparation, which is why we've got this stuff. Let's get going. Right, so also, I mean, one good thing, if you are, you know, carrying around some spare tripods and your phone, good thing is, it can work, 
as like a little, a cheeky little mirror. So just need to do this. I'm going to the in this part, and I haven't done this for about 10 years. Last time I put on like this kind of stuff. So let's get onto it. So the idea is, I just want some uh, pretty generic for this Halloween thing because I just feel like that'd work best. Now I could do a Red Devil, but you know, we did that years ago, so we ain't doing that anymore. So I was thinking, why not just a simple, a simple skeleton, but let's do it in a bit of a, kind of a cool, quirky way. I'm trying to, I'm the, in my head, I'm envisioning kind of the almost purge-like, do you know where, or oh, not in that, maybe more even the Dark Knight Joker-esque where you know it's kind of just like on the face it's done pretty badly and it looks like it's kind of it's smeared it's kind of just it just it looks like it's lightly on there do you know what I mean so the idea is why all here again it's very blotchy though and the black again hopefully blotchy we'll see let's see how oh look at that it comes up pretty I probably shouldn't have started off with black to be honest but you know what we'll run it now let's, let's go on with it so is it coming on it is Somewhere like that. That's pretty weak that. You know what? Let's let's just go with the white first. Boom. Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. Look at that. I'll see my hair a bit. Let's do that a bit. You know what? It's coming off kind of as I was thinking about it. You know, just it's blotchy, which I like. This is the thing, see it's blotchy. And the idea is just to come off kind of. That's it, look at that. Boom. Oh, that's nice, uh, that's coming off. I mean, I don't know what it looks like on camera, but in my reflection, I'm thinking this is kind of what I was going for. This is the, I mean, if I'm going to, if I'm doing anything for Halloween this year, this is probably ideal. I might just go for this kind of look. It's cheap, like I said, 2.99, 2.99. You know what I mean? Put on a bit of a fancy shirt on. I'm a spooky skeleton. And it looks all right. Um, it's all right for the white. Let's go for the black now. Maybe my issue was I just wouldn't put on enough. Oh, it's wrecked. Oh, wait, no, no. And then I have to go over with the black. To be honest, what's the good thing is, if you think of what our profession is, photographers, we can fix this in. You know what? Don't look too bad. You don't look too bad. You know what, if I just merge this with... Oh yeah. That's it. That's the look. That is the look. Like we were saying, with photographers, we can fix some of it. Just maybe the darker areas in a Photoshop. Let's go up with a bit of the white. You want that dragging effect going on. Do a black on the nose a bit as well. A bit of black on the nose. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I did say I did say it was two ninety nine. So I'll forgive for breaking. You know what? I ain't gonna mess with that. I think that's all right. I think I have no clue what it looks like. I could look like a complete mess on camera. That looks all right. Let's go on with it. Right, and that is today's video. And you know what? It went somewhat smoothly considering there's a bit of rushing about, but you know what? It was actually all right. And you know what? I do think, even though I haven't seen the edits yet, obviously you have, because you know, we're at the end of the video. Hopefully they're good enough. And you know, I think they will be, but we'll see in a bit. But anyway, you know, I'm a pretty smart guy. Brought some wipes, because obviously, you know, I can't be walking around these parks looking uh, like this, because you know, it's a bit, it's a bit weird, it's a bit dangerous. Can't be doing any of that. But anyway, as I, get to cleaning off and all that kind of stuff and uh, you know waste a bunch of wipes I'll put it on the floor for now I'm I uh, will pick it up in a second but obviously I need to like you know I need to get all this stuff off so bear with me and you know what I'll even chuck in some extra food just to prove that we'll pick them up but anyway we're at the end of the video and not today actually no, not today tomorrow actually it should be Halloween so hopefully you have a good Halloween hopefully you know you're 
you have some decent makeup on. You obviously won't get as good as this, obviously. But you might get somewhere as you might get somewhere close. But anyway, that is the end of the video. So I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe and I will pick that up. I'll see you. In next video. Right, so here's that extra footage I was talking about. Just showing you that, you know, I am picking it up. A bit of bonus footage, but a bit of extra Halloween antics. You know, I'm getting a bit of grass as well. But that's fine. Like I said, do my bit for society. So there we go, picked it up. Now, um, I mean, that is the end of the footage. I'll see you later. Let's uh, find a bin. Here we go. Like I said, here is your bonus footage to show I'm a good person. Done. Happy Halloween, guys. See you next video.